New at 6 tonight, we are learning new details tonight in the case of a prominent entrepreneur in Jacksonville. Janae White is the CEO of eight businesses and owns 50 Airbnbs. We do need to change the graphic at the bottom of the screen. That's incorrect. She's facing serious allegations of fraud for what some call bad business practices. Jasmine Monroe has been on your side learning why two friends are battling it out in court. So these allegations are simply not true. I have so many positive stories. She's delusional. It's too much of a paper trail to deny it at this point. Two sides, once friends, now foes. Rayvon Griffin describes her experience with well-known entrepreneur Janae White as a total disappointment after she said she was scammed for more than $10,000 from White's bad business practices. It's too many records. It's too many text messages. It's too many emails. It's too many signed contracts. Griffin, a silent partner, says she, along with several investors, were led to believe they received properties for renovation and sale, only to find promises unfulfilled. And she's very good at avoiding questions and avoiding the truth, and that's when I realized I had to take a step back. But White says that she never scammed her clients. This is just the ugly side of business investment. Unfortunately, this is a horrible side of business. I have lost millions of dollars doing these ventures, um, bringing people with me. I have hundreds of thousands of dollars in chargebacks from people who stole from my company after they received profits. A Facebook group with over 9.4 thousand clients was created to garner awareness in the alleged scam. But Janae says some of the things people are saying is simply not true. I hate those allegations. I hate that people are referencing that with my name. I absolutely had 52 Airbnbs, and that is what people were investing in my company. Jacksonville attorney Chris Dempsey is now representing these investors. He tells us Griffin's case may just be the tip of the iceberg and well over $200,000 scammed. It's growing by the day. Um, it's growing in magnitude, and it's, it's egregious and disturbing to me, and really sad that this has happened in our community by somebody who is not unknown. Griffin says she was fortunate that she was financially stable to bounce back, but some people lost it all. People who have lost tens of thousands of dollars. Like, this is no small amount of money. As for White, I do not want um, a few complaints or a few allegations to diminish all of the good that I have done in my community, especially without people hearing my side of the story. For First Coast News on your side, I'm Jasmine Monroe.